Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're looking at illustrative math for sixth grade. This is Unit 1, Lesson 14, Nets and Surface Area. The objective states, when, a given, when given a net of a prism or a pyramid, I can calculate its surface area. Um, just to remind ourselves the difference between a prism and a pyramid, a pyramid has one unique face and then all of the other faces are triangles. And a prism is made up of two bases that are exactly the same, they're congruent, they're the same shape and size, and then every other face is a rectangle. So we're looking at 14.2 using nets to find surface area. This says your teacher will give you the nets of three polyhedra to cut out an assemble. I'm not going to cut these out in a symbol, obviously, from the screen. Um, name the polyhedron that each net would be when assembled. Well again, <clears throat> for a pyramid, there's one unique base and the rest of the faces are triangles and the only one that is a pyramid is B. And then for our pyramids, we name the pyramid after its base. And in that case, this is a square because all sides are the same shape and size. All, or excuse me, all sides are the same length. So this is a square pyramid. All right, for C, we have two bases that are the same. They're congruent. They're the exact same shape and size. It's these triangles. And then all the other faces are rectangles. So this is a triangular prism. And then for A, all the faces here are rectangles. There is no other polygon shape in this shape. So it has to be a rectangular prism. And the thing about rectangular prisms is that we could choose pretty much any one of these rectangles and find a congruent base. Well, and so that's why uh, we can't necessarily distinguish one as one particular base of the prism uh, because there are matching sets for all of the rectangles. So there's like a matching set for this one, etc. Okay, looking at uh, number two, it says cut out your shapes. We're not going to do that. For three, it says find the surface area of each polyhedron. So the surface area is that combined area of all the faces. Oops. So the com combined area of all the polygon faces. So <clears throat> let's look at one that's a little more challenging. With a rectangle, we just have to count the number of squares that are inside the shape. We're going to look instead at um, this square pyramid because we have some triangles and a square. The square is pretty straightforward. We can count how many smaller squares are inside. I have four by four, so then that means there's 16 squares inside that shape. And then the, these triangles, I can decompose them and piece them together. So I'm going to cut that triangle piece in half. And if I do that, you can see that it could fit right here. And then that other piece can fit down here. I can do the same thing with this opposite triangle. And so instead of having four triangles, I actually have two rectangles. So these are now excluded. I have two rectangles that I need to find the area of, and the rectangles are actually squares. They're six, four by four, which is 16 as well. So I have three groups of 16. So three times 16 is the same thing as three times two times eight, which is six times eight. So that is 48. B has 48 squares. So the area, surface area of that is 48 square units. You can do the same kind of thing with uh, C, this triangular prism. You can take this triangle, decompose and rearrange it, put it over here. So now you have one, two, three, four rectangles and all you have to do is count the number of squares that are inside the rectangle and go from there to find your surface area of that triangular prism. Again, our objective states, when given a net of a prism or pyramid, I can calculate its surface area. Thanks for watching.